five people. The saying goes that who you are can be best defined as the five people you spend the most time with. And I think in a historical sense, this meant physically in your village, in your community, who you spend time with, who you associated with. But in the modern day sense, I also think it takes into consideration whose content do you consume? What information do you gather? What types of communities do you partake in, whether it's in the physical form or online or otherwise? Because what you find is the more time you spend with certain influences in your life, the more you gravitate towards them. And this can be for good things, right? The more you hung around with the person that always went to the gym, that always read books, the more you pick up some of those habits. And just like our parents would yell at us when we were kids, the more you hang around with the, with the bad kids, the more those habits would permeate. And it's true as you get older as well, and as you run a business, that you pick up the habits of those around you. I mean, that's why there's success in the mastermind groups and things of that nature, Vistage. Not necessarily because you're learning brilliant takeaways, but because you're learning the habits, right? So I guess those would be the brilliant takeaways are the habits of the successful people, not so much any particular knowledge-based insight that you could look up on Wikipedia, but what things do these people do? What routines do they follow? What ethos do they live by? What activities do they partake in? And what things do they not do equally as important? And so it's important to keep your mind, body, soul insulated trying to just take in the good things, trying to avoid the bad things. And, it, and there's something to be said that every pound of lie has an ounce of truth. But a good quote I heard is you don't want to look through an entire junkyard to find a nickel's worth of value, right? And the same thing goes with content. You know which things are going to have a higher probability of having some good substance to them. And those are the areas that you want to look into. And those are the influence that you want to be around because those are the things you will naturally gravitate towards. You can think of different influences of pastiche as well, right? It's not necessarily five people, right? But it could be five spheres of influence, right? If I think of my own life, I'd say, okay, my wife, and I think of that as encompassing family. I'd say, Jesus, and that encompasses faith. And I would say, uh, an amalgamation from an investment or business perspective of Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, John Rockefeller, Dan Swarn, I mean, a bunch of people that I've looked up to, both historical and in the current day. And then I'd say, from a self improvement perspective, Huberman, Alex Hormozzi, David Goggins, I mean, there's a bunch of those, right? Looking at more of kind of the totality of a human being from both a business, personal well being, mental dopamine detox, get in the gym type regiments as well. Number five, well, can't let every secret out here. But that being said, think of your life in the same way. What are the five spheres of influence, whether they're in real life, whether it's online and it's content, but where is most of your mental attention from a consumption basis being allocated? And it's gonna tell you a lot about yourself. And it's also gonna tell you where you can improve. Right? Bad content for the brain is like junk food for the body, right? It just dulls you out, it overstimulates, and it doesn't educate, it doesn't nourish. So look, this isn't a lecture on how to uh, optimize your online time spending, but it's something to keep in mind. People say, you are what you eat, you are who you spend time with, you are your influences. And if you can break down your life into the five spheres of influence that have the most impact on you, you're very likely to tell which direction you think, what you hold valuable, and likely where you're headed. So that's a thought for today five people. Hope the week's going well for everyone. Keep pushing forward. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.